<laughs> Adamsville, it's good to see you this morning. Uh, I hope and pray that you're all well. I know we would all much rather be in our building together uh, doing this and being able to hear each other. Uh, I miss the, the morning buzz and hearing people talk before service, um, but I do pray that you're all well. And once again, I just want to always remind you every time we start service, you are missed. And uh, as a church family, as your shepherd, uh, I miss seeing you all and uh, I do pray for you faithfully. Uh, I want to start off with announcement time. And what I'd like to do is honestly, I'd like you to get a piece of paper and pen if you don't have one nearby. And I'd like to, you to write some of these things down. I want to make sure that you remember these things and are thinking about these things. So if you need to, if you haven't already left the couch or the chair and gone a piece of paper, I'm rambling so that you have time to get that because there's nothing like a good ramble. Um, but uh, Ryan and I wanna thank all of you for your feedback uh, over the survey. Uh, there might be a couple of you like, what survey? I didn't get it and that's okay. Um, it was mostly uh, spurred on by a couple of people wondering if there'd be another way to do our live stream and uh, we are exploring a variety of options. Uh, and so we thought we'd send out a survey and we got some great feedback. Uh, so throughout this service, some of the things that we're gonna be doing today are actually addressing some of the things you mentioned in the survey. The first thing we wanna start off with is this. If you are having any difficulty streaming such a high data live stream via your internet, we have found some ways you can lower the quality and therefore lower the amount of data the live feed uses. If you press the little gear symbol in the lower right corner, and Orion has a nice little picture to show you on your computer or on your screen, you can actually change the setting on video quality and you will allow it, this will allow you to stream at a much lower data rate. Uh, so we are recommending settings of 360 or even 160. Uh, if you are using the app, there is also an audio only option. And uh, so if you are having trouble streaming this, these are a couple of options that would still allow you to be part of the, the stream, but yet maybe uh, it works a little better for you that way. With that said, if you are one of those that are struggling to see it, uh, try these options and please let Orion and I know either through uh, text or email, whether it's working or not. And if it does work, great. If not, there are a couple other things we may try for next week, but we wanted to see if this would, uh, this step would help. All right, let me get into some announcements. Uh, this Wednesday, 6.30 p.m., we will be having a Zoom prayer meeting. I'll be hosting that. I'll be sending out the invitation for that via email tomorrow. So please just be looking for that. And what you'll do is around 6.30, 25 or so you click on that and you'll be able to join the meeting and uh, I'll run that meeting and I'll help you through that uh, so hopefully you can join us for that we also now have a question for you from the survey a couple people were asking and so we are asking all of you that watch the live stream would you prefer a 10 a.m start time uh, if you would, please let us know once again via text or email, and we'd like to know by Wednesday so that we can get information out if we're in fact going to change the start time uh, for, to 10 rather than 11. If that works out better for everyone, we are more than willing to do that. Um, we're also looking at the possibility of having a either 10.30 or 9.30, depending on what time we start the service, type of coffee time where people can get on Zoom and sort of visit together, catch up with each other before the service starts. So once again, please let us know by Wednesday whether you prefer to stay at 11 or move it to 10 o'clock. Couple of suggestions that we're looking for help on. First of all, if you would be interested and willing to coordinate with the church family on how to uh, make sure that we're writing letters and cards to people, especially the eight, that do not get to join us electronically, our elderly. Um, but if you would be willing to lead that, please email or text me. Uh, we're still not even sure what we're trying to do, but if you would be interested to be the, like that point logistical person that helps us with that, let me be clear. We're not asking you to be the only person doing it, just that you would help coordinate the church. And another coordinator we're looking for is the idea of either twice or once a month 
would the church be interested in coordinating together to order takeout at a local restaurant to help uh, keep the local economy uh, going? So if you would be interested in coordinating that, once again, through uh, email or text, let me know, and we'll talk about details and how we would work that out. All right, another announcement. Ladies' small groups, there's two that are meeting every other week, and I think they're on opposite weeks. And you, if you as a lady are not part of either of them, and if you want to join them, please let either Jika McLeod or Amy Aubrey know, uh, or Debbie Sears, and we'll make sure you get connected to one. Ben, Nate Aubrey is currently through emails trying to coordinate. I think he's hoping to set up up to as many as four small groups for guys where we would pray either during the, a weeknight or the weekend. So if you are have not received that email and you want information on that, please let us know uh, because we want to make sure that we all can connect in any way possible. Now, of all the feedback we got, it was clear that many of you really do want to contribute to these services, either through reading scripture, sharing an update or testimony, or sharing special music. So with that in mind, we want to encourage you to do this. We don't want you to think that you have to uh, do some perfect quality presentation, as others have already shown, just recording some audio is enough. Uh, we want this to be uh, a communal service. Uh, if you're interested in reading scripture we can, and you have the internet ability, we can have you join the Zoom meeting for that. Um, and so if you have a heart to share, please let us know that you want to share, how you want to share. And, and Orion and I will work at getting you connected. Uh, and then if we have lots of responses, we'll even create a schedule for when you're going to be helping us out. Uh, when it comes to music, especially uh, pre-recorded is helpful. So either audio and or video. And, um, and then also, if even if you were willing to write a note, a card, um, and we can read those uh, to the church family, if you want to let us know how you're doing, that would be great. Uh, one last announcement, Bible with Brian does continue every other Saturday, taking a deep dive into right now Genesis and exploring the various themes that are present in the first book of the Bible. Uh, this is a Zoom meeting hosted by Brian from New Creation. Uh, email us, uh, or if you want to be included in that, we'll make sure that Brian and Joel know about that. Normally, I would ask, are there any other announcements, but I can't do that, so hopefully that's enough, but if you do have an announcement that you'd like to go out to the church, send it to me via email, and uh, I know lots of email uh, type of options, but that's okay. Um, if you're willing and able, please get to your Bibles, and I'd like you to open Exodus 15. I'm going to be preaching Exodus 15 to 17 uh, today. Uh, I'll be also preaching out of Exodus again next week, and then after that, I'll be moving on to another either standalone sermon or uh, another series. Um, I look forward to the day when we get back together again, and I'll jump right back into the Minor Prophets. Uh, but for now, uh, we're going to continue on the road we're at. So Exodus chapter 15, and once again, you can see what I'm doing here. If you're interested and willing to read scripture, uh, we can easily make you part of the Zoom meeting. So Exodus chapter 15, starting at verse 1. Then Moses and the people of Israel sang this song to the Lord. So this is after the 10 plagues. This is after the journey into the wilderness. They have been released from Egypt, and, and they have crossed the Red Sea. So this song, chapter 15, is right after the Red Sea crossing. And this is what they sing. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him. My father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host he cast into the sea, and his chosen officers were sunk in the Red Sea. The floods covered them. They went down into the depths like a stone. Your rightful hand, O Lord, glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, sh excuse me, shatters the enemy. In the greatness of your majesty, you overthrow your adversaries. You send out your fury. 
it consumes them like stubble. At the blast of your nostrils, the waters piled up, the flood stood up in a heap, the deeps congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil, my desire shall have its fill of them, I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. You blew with your wind, the sea covered them, they sank like lead in the mighty waters. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glorious deeds, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. You have led in your steadfast love the people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them by your strength to your holy abode. The peoples have heard, they tremble. Pangs have seized the inhabitants of Philistia. Now are the chiefs of Edom dismayed. Trembling seizes the leaders of Moab. All the inhabitants of Canaan have melted away. Terror and dread fall upon them because of the greatness of your arm. They are still as a stone. Till your people, O Lord, pass by. Till the people pass by whom you have purchased. You will bring them in and plant them on your own mountain. The place, O Lord, which you have made for your abode. The sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. The Lord will reign forever and ever. One of the, there's two things that we're going to do a little different today that were brought up during the survey, and I thought they were great ideas. The first idea is that uh, each week as we go into our time of prayer, I'm going, part of our prayer time is going to include three families from the church directory, and I'll be praying for them. But we would also then encourage you, so one of the reasons I had you get the pen and paper is to write them down and pray over these families through the week, and we'll keep working through that each Sunday. So this week, uh, I just want you to lift up uh, Nancy Aubrey, who, um, while Nate and his family do their best to watch over her, you know, there are many hours of the day that she's alone, and so be in prayer for her. Uh, we encourage you, pray for Reggie and Joni Bush, and just understanding there are special needs there for Reggie's health, and as Joni tries to help take care of him. And then lastly, for this week, Winnie Dillon and her son, Caleb. Once again, they are isolated way out in, in the middle of nowhere. So just be in prayer for them and that the Lord would encourage them. Uh, also, please be in prayer. Uh, just as a reminder, Helen Moore's sister did pass away. So be in prayer for Helen and the family. The Olsons have a, a loved one who also died of, of COVID. And then a friend of the family who broke her hip. Be in prayer for them. We do have a praise. Judy Sharples is feeling better. Continue to pray for her. Uh, and just some aspects that she battles, uh, dizziness and nausea, but we are grateful that she is feeling better. Continue to lift up uh, Johanna and Ben Aubrey and um, Carl Beckler and, and Colleen Townsend and anyone else you that know that's on the front of medical care. Uh, uh, Amy's sister, Joelle, who actually had COVID and is now recovering from that. And uh, so friends, just understanding we're all still in the middle of this and each week, uh, for some it gets a little easier, I guess, for others it gets harder. Uh, but uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer and uh, just uh, praise his name and seek his face. Father God, we praise you for your loving mercies. We are humbled by the reality that we are very much not in control. I pray, Lord, that you would help all that are lonely. I pray for those that are struggling as they don't get to see loved ones that they miss. I pray, Lord, that you would help people that are feelings of depression, um, frustration, and even anger. Many people actually going through various stages of grief. And then, of course, Lord, for those who have, have in fact, lost loved ones. I think of Helen and the Olsons who have people that they know and care about who have died from this. Father, I pray that we would learn how to lament, to cry out to you with our frustration, to cry out to you with our pain, to cry out to you and with our struggle to understand why, O oh Lord, 
why is this happening? But always to end that lament with, for I know that the Lord is faithful and steadfast. Father, help us to just grow in our faith through all of this. For it is a wonderful opportunity to wrestle with many different kinds of faith issues and questions. Father, I lift up Judy Sharples. We're grateful that she is feeling better, that Allie and Bill, they're all feeling better. And we pray that you protect and watch over Rachel. Um, Father, I pray that you would provide some answers for Judy's ongoing health challenges, and uh, especially when we're all isolated and we can't even help, at least not the ways we're used to. Father, I do pray for our church family that we will be wise and looking for ways to encourage others. I've heard many stories of people doing little things, and little things mean so much, and I'm grateful for that. Father, I pray for Nancy Aubrey and just her isolation, and Father, I know there's a part of her that wants to go home. She wants to see you, and so Lord, I pray in your infinite wisdom, just be gracious and help her to be at peace and to trust your timing in all things. Father, I pray for Reggie and Joni, and I know that um, up on that hill, up on that mountain, they just feel very alone. And so I pray, watch over them. I pray that uh, for Joni, and just as she has extra responsibilities, just give her body strength and ability. Father, I lift up Winnie and Caleb to you. I pray, Lord, that you would just encourage Winnie's spirit. I pray you would provide for her medications and just different needs that she has. And Father, once again, for all of our church family, just as we face these, these days and not always know what to do or how to do it, Lord, I just pray that we will not look only to our own strength, that we won't try to muscle our way through, but that we will rely on your strength. So, Father, for our whole church family, I pray, as Paul did for Ephesus, that the eyes of our hearts would be open, that we would know the fullness of the power that you offer and give to us for it is the same power that you use to raise christ from the dead lord may we rest and take peace in that and trust you in all these days so lord we praise you and we look for other opportunities to demonstrate your love and grace we pray all this in the name of jesus amen so friends, another opportunity, another thing that uh, came out of the survey, which I thought was a great idea, is we're at least going to try each week uh, to offer uh, a little something for our kids. And um, so just make sure your kids are aware, paying attention, and um, hopefully they'll get a little bit better. This was a, a last minute thing that I did. And uh, once again, if this is something you want to help me with uh, in doing a special quick focused uh, thought and lesson for our children, uh, let me know. Uh, but uh, Orion's going to show that. And then we have a special song from Sam. And then we'll be challenged by the word of God. I do pray that you have a wonderful Sunday. I pray that you will uh, enjoy time with family as if you could do anything else. And, uh, and may the Lord truly bless all of you and all that you do. Have a great day.